current Lotus mirror that's in front of us for luxury interiors. Let's just have a look at some of the storage areas. Console, a storage unit in the center console, beautifully clad in. So let's talk the front end design, the EV, the Evia, the Hypercar video, so you can make the comparison. So that was the 2023 Lotus. Should you be interested in this particular or straight out of Norfolk in England comes the Amira. Looking like a million dollars, incredible supercar looks. You can get it for less than a hundred thousand dollars. The Lotus Amira brags a 3.5 liter supercharged V6 engine, 0 to 100 in just 3.4 seconds, supercar performance. And should you be interested in a Lotus Amira, I will leave a link below to Daytona in the waterfront in Cape Town, South Africa. As I mentioned earlier, the Lotus Amira for less than $100,000, great value for a sports car with supercar performance. However, unfortunately, these are the last petrol engines available from Lotus, and that is the 3.5 liter V6 supercharged engine, and then of course the Mercedes-Benz AMG four-cylinder engine. Those will be the very last petrol engines from Lotus. Thereafter, they will move over to EV electric vehicles, and currently they've just launched the Electra, the SUV, and I will leave a link below to the SUV should you like to view that. And then of course the Evia, which is the hypercar, only eight produced so far. That is the future of Lotus, electric vehicles for the future. So let's check out the Mirrors key, a beautifully new design key fob with the new Lotus logo. And then when you turn it around, it says on the side for the drivers. Let's talk drive trains. And the current Lotus Mirror that's in front of us has the 3.5 supercharged V6 engine sourced from Toyota, actually from the Toyota Camry, 0 to 100 in just 3.4 seconds and 400 brake horsepower. The second option um, in the Lotus Mirror is the four cylinder um, AMG engine sourced from Mercedes Benz, which um, has 360 horsepower and also 0 to 100 in just 3.4 seconds. So those are the two drivetrains available in the Lotus Amira. Let's talk the rear boot space of the Amira. And just behind the mid-engine, you have a, a very large boot area that can take at least three or four soft bags. You will note that it's got a lot of depth on the left and a lot of depth on the right. And similarly, right at the back of the boot, so there's quite a lot of space for at least four soft bags, a really nice size for a sports car. And then within it, you have your battery cover. That is where the battery is stored. Um, you need to remove that with the spanner. And then you have your emergency triangle, which needs to be tethered at the back here so it doesn't slide around. And then should you be locked in your own boot, um, you have your little toggle that you can pull so you can get out of your boot. And then, of course, you have your emergency kit, very nicely presented um, by Lotus. And in there, you have your tow hitch. You have your glue for repairing a tire. And then we'll talk about this special tool a little later. This is for opening the front boot, which is not for storage, purely for services, but we'll show you how that all works a little later. And then further to the storage, we also have storage space within the cabin um, that you can store soft luggage in behind the two front seats. There's a parcel tray that will provide you the necessary um, storage for at least, at least two soft suitcases. So how do you open your Amira's door? Well, it's very simple. You have a flush door lever, you push it at the end, it pops open, a conventional door, large areas for getting in and out of the vehicle, conventional door, very simple to get in and out of your Lotus. It's never been easier in the Lotus Amira to get in and get out of your Lotus, which was not the case in the past. In the past, it was always difficult to get into your Lotus. The seats were uncomfortable, the thresholds were too wide, the door penetrations were too small, but not in the Lotus Amira. The doors have become a lot wider, a lot easier to get in. The thresholds have become a lot smaller. The seats have become more comfortable and it is far easier to get in and out of your Amira. And Lotus has made sure that they've given enough kid space and they brag that you should be able to wear a helmet in your Amira and have more than enough head space to be on the track. So a very focused and luxury cabin available for a luxury travel. And then of course, if you want to be on the track, wearing your helmet, you'll have enough headspace. In the past, 
Lotus was never famous for luxury interiors and providing conveniences and storage, but in the Amira that has all changed. A luxurious cabin has been created in the Amira with lots of storage space and lots of conveniences and lots of luxury. Lots of leather and lots of comfort. So let's just have a look at some of the storage areas. You have the traditional glove box, beautifully designed in a leather clad dashboard. Um, then you have cup holders in the center console, a storage unit in the center console, beautifully clad in leather. And then you have a little penetration here in the center, con center console for storing your cell phone. And then we also have another smaller one just below the gear linkage design for a storage of small items. And then of course in the doors, you have large door panels uh, for storage as well. Quite unfamiliar for Lotus, providing all these conveniences within the cabin of the new Amira. The Amira has the six-speed manual and it has the six forward gears with the exposed gear linkage, beautiful design. And you can appreciate the changing of your gears. It's also lit at night so that you can actually see those gears changing on the um, the automatic version that is closed with carbon fiber so you can't appreciate that but a beautiful design a beautiful gear knob as well in aluminium and then of course they've stuck to Colin Chapman's rule and that is no more than a hands breadth between the gear lever and the steering for quick changing on the Never track. have we had such luxuries in a Lotus the Lotus Amira brags two LCD screens the center gauge cluster and then of course the central uh, control cluster which controls all of your um, climate control and your various other functions very simple to use you have tiles left and right which you can flip through quite easily all your different options there we go very simple system uh, never seen in a lotus before very basic but very intuitive but by no means difficult at all and now we have the central gauge cluster a very simple um, designed unit and it's been specially positioned and so is the steering. The steering has been designed so that you can see the gauge cluster without having steering in the way and the gauge cluster itself is very simple. You have the rev counter on top, you have your fuel level below and you have your temperature on the right. Then you have electronic speed uh, indicator on the left hand side and then you have your gear functions on the right and then we have the steering of the Amira. You have the Lotus logo right in the center. There we go. And then you have your various controls left and right. These are touch pads, which you can maneuver all of your functions. There we go. Um, there you've got your, your maximum G function, your minimum G function, your various different power modes, etc. There we go, tire pressure. So very intuitive, quite easily to operate. And then on the other side, we have the same, your cruise control, and various all your various other functions a very very simple system um, not too complicated um, on left and right of the steering and then we can move down to the center console of the mirror and you will note before i move on that they have all of the detail on the center climate vents they have a mirror and then as you move down you have your control for your climate control or manual controls for your airflow etc and you'll note that your little man has a helmet in this particular vehicle so definitely a track most focused mirror and then when you move down you have your sound control you have your hazard lights and then you have your control for your various drive modes um, and then you have your manual selector as we mentioned earlier and then you have your very ferrari-esque um, little cover for your start button um, and then when you move down you have your cup holders and you have your storage unit behind you all clad in leather Never in a Lotus before have we had such beautifully designed and luxurious seats. The logo included, beautifully leather clad, beautifully embossed and stunningly hand stitched leather seats. And this particular Lotus, as we see it today, is the first edition Amira, very special limited edition Amira available, as I said earlier, from Daytona in the waterfront in Cape Town. The rear end design of the Lotus Amira and it's very reminiscent of the Evia EV and you will note the very large air vents left and right at the rear which cool the rear disc brakes very reminiscent of the EV and similarly the the um, 3D lighting systems beautiful LED design very much like the Evia and similarly the contoured rear end and the massive rear splitter 
with the two exhausts left and right. A beautiful design, very futuristic and totally unique to the Lotus Amira. Further to the storage area in the Lotus Amira, quite a lot of storage space, but unfortunately the front boot area is not for storage, it's purely for services. Up front here we have the very large fan which cools the, the V6 supercharged engine, and then we also have the services, all the, the, the braking facilities, etc. So no storage is available up front here, but should you want to open it, it is available. You have a tool in your emergency kit that looks like that, and this tool enables you to open your front boot. There are four um, lugs, one, two, three, four, that you have to undo with this tool, and that then opens and then hinges from the bottom end of the boot end, just above the Lotus badge. That hinges up, and then you're able to access um, your front boot um, of your Lotus Amira. However, no luggage space is available up front. Let's talk the color options on the Lotus Amira. And this particular Lotus is in Seneca blue. It's a launch color and it has the two-tone black roof and Seneca blue body. Then you also have magma red, ethyl yellow, dark verdant, shadow gray, and nimbus gray. And all of the colors I've just mentioned also has the choice of having the two-tone or black roof or a one body color on ordering your Amira. And then we have the mag wheel option on the Lotus Amira and we have 20 inch mag wheels front and back and we have um, four different caliper color options and in this particular Amira we have the Hethel yellow and we only have steel rotors available in the Amira range and currently we have the 16 inch steel rotors on this particular Lotus Amira. And then, of course, we also have the beautiful Lotus badge in Hethel, Hethel Yellow, in the center of the mag wheel. So let's talk the front end design of the Amira. And as I said earlier, very reminiscent of the EV, the Evaya, the Hypercar. And you'll note the beautiful LED headlights up front. Um, and similarly, the very large splitter and air intakes, very Evaya. And then as you move up, you have these very large air intakes very unique design and also very reminiscent of the Avaya. I will include images in this video so you can make the comparison. A beautiful and unique design up front of the Lotus Amira that looks very similar to its sister, which is the hypercar, the Lotus Evaya. Another design quirk of the Amira is the side air vents, which are in the middle of the Amira and they run through to cool the rear discs and then exit out the rear just below the LED taillights, very reminiscent of the EV, the Evaya. Lotus tends to make their name in three categories, steering, handling and ride quality. The hydraulic steering is simply phenomenal, delicate and properly weighted. The combination of perfectly judged controls and beautifully balanced chassis makes the Amira feel more natural and communicative and suppose a driver's cars that cost twice as much. The Amira is better through a corner than anything in its class and nearly anything on the road. Lotus offers two suspension options on the Amira, the first being Touring, which is a softer option, and then you have Sport, which is a far harder and more track focused option for the Amira. As said, Sport is the harder of the two intended for the owner who will track the car while Touring has a lower spring and damper rates and is designed for cars that will be road driven almost exclusively. Suspension choice also impacts tires. Sport gets an option of a Goodyear Eagle F1, Super Sports or a Michelin Pilot Cup 2s while Touring can only opt for the Goodyears. Both of these tires were created specifically for the Amira and today we are going to be taking the Amira on a road test to test its performance, its road holding, its cornering. So here we go out onto the road to give her a test drive.
want. They want something that looks the part, but it doesn't actually cost all that money. And the other thing is, having the, the Toyota drivetrain, it's not a supercar or a, a, a sports car that's going to give trouble on a regular base car, being the fact that it's got a Toyota drivetrain. And it's got the supercar looks. What a pleasure to I think possibly Lotus is be eating their words because I think they could have charged a lot more for this car and people would have still bought it in the droves. Lotus Emira's performance and cornering is just incredible. That was the 2023 Lotus Amira looking like a million dollars but less than a hundred thousand dollars and it's available here at Daytona in the waterfront in Cape Town South Africa and should you be interested in this particular or any other Amira which you can order I will leave a link below and don't forget if you liked our video don't forget to give us the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Current Lotus mirror that's in front of us for luxury interiors. Let's just have a look at some of the storage areas. Console, a storage unit in the center console, beautifully clad in. So let's talk the front end design, the EV, the Evia, the Hypercar video, so you can make the comparison. So that was the 2023 Lotus. Should you be interested? in this particular or any other